Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're gonna see a few things that I hate about macOS and a few things that doesn't make sense in the macOS system. Also, we're gonna see how I fix those issues. But before that, just leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, let's start with the first issue that I have with macOS. So sometimes it just happens that when you type something on your Mac, it does autocorrect the word, but sometimes it does autocorrect in the wrong way. So it does get the wrong word and it's just annoying. And there is a way to disable this function. So let me show you how to do it. So first of all, just go into system settings, then go into keyboard right here down below. You go here down on text input and then you click edit on your language and then you uncheck correct spelling automatically. So with this option disabled, it will not autocorrect the word, but it just but it will just suggest you to use that word, for example. Another big problem that I have on my Mac, and this is since day one, but I have found just the right solution a few days after I bought and I tried macOS for the first time and it is the natural scroll. I hate natural scroll and also I hate that when you're using an external mouse you cannot disable this function and also your mouse will have some acceleration that I don't like at all. So for this problem the app that I use it's called unnatural scroll wheel and it is the first app that I have installed on my Mac. So you will not see any icon on my Mac on the top on the minibar or anything, but it is running in the background and it does disable the natural scroll and also it does disable the mouse acceleration. Also, if you want to try another app that is also good enough, it is called Moss. You can just search it on Google, just Moss Mac OS. So the first link is gonna be the right one. So it is free, you can download it and as you can see, it is used to use also the function of smooth scrolling. So you will have a nice effect when you're scrolling the web pages, for example, like if you were using the trackpad on your Mac. And also it will disable the acceleration, disable the natural scrolling. So as you can see on the website, they have pretty much everything that you need to know. Another big issue at first it was using the delete command because I've used pretty much all my entire life the delete command. So both for deleting files and also to delete some words when I'm writing. So you already know that there isn't a delete button on your Apple keyboard and there is only the backspace, but you can use the backspace as a delete button by simply pressing the function button plus the backspace button. It will be like using the delete button. I'm gonna show you how. I will write something here and then I can do this. I can type some words and as you may know I can do backspace like this to delete some words but if I want to delete right there after my pointer I can just hit the fn button so the function button and also pressing the backspace. So in this way I will delete some words like this. It is basically the delete button on Windows machines. Same stuff if you want to use the delete button for files, you don't have to press function button plus backspace, but you have to press command plus backspace. So in this way, the backspace button will be used as the delete button for files and folders and everything similar. Then when taking screenshot on your MacBook, so you have to press command shift and five. So you can select pretty much how you want your screenshot and how you want to capture it. So you can see, you can select a window, you can select uh, the entire screen or maybe just a portion of, of your screen. But when you are taking screenshots in the background, you will have a shadow, for example, behind the window that you screenshotted. To delete that window, and have just a natural screenshot. Just hold the option key on your keyboard and then the Mac will do a clean screenshot without any shadow in the background. Then last tip that I will give you, it is if you have already updated to the Sonoma system. So you already know that macOS Sonoma just offer a big pack of wallpapers and they are cool. They are live wallpapers and they are in super good resolution and all of that stuff. But if you download all of those wallpapers, did you know that they take space on your SSD? 
it is quite too much space. So to delete those, there is a specific folder, but it is hidden. So I will give you the path to reach those wallpapers and delete them one by one. For example, those that you are not using or maybe those that you have downloaded and now you don't like it anymore. So this is the path to the wallpaper library. So this is the folder and you will see that we have 2K and 4K HDR wallpaper, but these are 120 FPS and 240 FPS because some of those are live wallpaper. And so these are big video files. For example, this wallpaper of Dubai that is a live wallpaper. As you can see, it is pretty much a video. It is six minutes and it is 445 megabytes. And this was just one wallpaper. So if you download multiple wallpaper, there will be like 10 or maybe 15 gigabytes for all the pack. So make sure to check this folder and to delete the wallpaper that you are not using. So you will preserve the SSD life. Anyway, this was a list of features that make no sense on macOS. They are just annoying. And these were few fix for these features. So let me know down below in the comments if you already knew this turnaround for those annoying features. And also let me know down below if you did know about the wallpaper that can take that much of space on your MacBook. Also leave a like down below if you did like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.